Hello, German Nights, my precious gems. How you doing? I'm coming to bring you February's messages. You guys are wonderful. Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants to bring forth for you. The truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. As above, so below, everything unholy has got to go. We don't tolerate any negative energies in our readings. Though they be present, they have no access. Okay, let's take a look. We're going to do a Celtic cross for my precious gems. Thank you. I love you. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the liking of my videos because it keeps it keeps you guys notified. Um, if you like my reading, please hit the like button. And if you really like it and you relate, feel free to subscribe and hit the all bell so you don't miss my um, notifications when they come up. Because I go and also don't forget to join me if you can on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. I'm live every time. I don't seem to miss those very much. It's been going on for a long time. That's my for sure, right? No matter what, even if I'm out of town visiting family, I'm still going to be here Saturday morning at 10 a.m. So we can take a look at the energies that are showing up at the time. I am a, my channel is about entertainment, enlightenment, encouragement, confirmations, and synchronicities. Precious gems, you are on my table right now. You are it. You are all right now. Everything is about you at this moment. I am eternally grateful for your presence. If you have never met me before, I'm Reiki trained master. I'm getting ready to make a video of something very special that you can learn. Beginner, beginner Reiki training and how to apply it and how to have fun doing it. Uh, that's coming up. I'm also working on my tarot training course. Not really good at that one because <clears throat> I'm still waiting for something to um, come in that I need. When those cards come in and I see they're really good for training, then I'm going to purchase a bunch of those cards to, to uh, give you for the training. So I'm waiting for that to happen. They haven't arrived yet, but when they do, they should cover everything. All right, and then uh, you should be able to digitally download videos and intros and um, explanations, layouts, how to read them, what, you know, how to really, really sit back, with, pull back from your eyes from what you're seeing and see with your third eye, see with your soul, see with your spirit. What do you see? Colors, shapes, sizes, directions, numbers, numerology, everything is everything and it all blends together. But the fun part is that it's only serious if you make it serious. I take my work serious, which is why I like to see the spirit guides come in and prove synchronicities and confirmations for you, right? My channel, my website, you can order readings. You can order my specials that I'm running right now. Here's my special Geminis. Attract love and abundance bath salts. Attract love and abundance mist spray. They're all natural, pure. Beautiful crystals and a little scoopy spoon. It comes with roses with a rose scent on it. And <clears throat> these are $25. So those are on my Etsy shop if you want them. I'll get it right out in the mail to you. Be good for you to self-nurture, my beautiful Geminis. Some of you have already tried these things. You know they're amazing. I also have my triple threat. Kick their ass. This will use with Michael Ar Archangel Invocation. will knock out everything negative. It could possibly be connected to you. And then this will saturate you, your auric field, with protection. It is divinely inspired, powerful, prayed over, and Reiki empowered. So when you do it, you add your intention, you get a result. And I have five-star reviews, five-star reviews, and definitely five-star reviews for my ancient scent. This is, if you are a tarot reader, you should get this for your table. And for your sanctify yourself before you read. It's absolutely beautiful. Highly powered. Calling in the, the, the work of the elders. Calling in the elders. All right. We're going to do a Celtic cross. And then, you guys, we're going to look at you and every other sign. I kind of go through those really quick and brief, though, because I don't want to spend hours looking at, you know, because you there's thousands of you, really. And it, I don't know your perfect circumstances. But let me tell you the ground rules here real quick. My readings are not gender specific. That works out good for the duality type signs. You know, for those that are non, by, you know, non, 
binary gender or you know what I mean? Whatever you want, whoever you love, the way you love, it's you. It's you right there in the middle of all that loving these people. And <clears throat> you're learning about them. Sometimes coming to our channels, you can even learn more about the character of these people. But you have to be very, very... Uh, uh, so trust your intuition, Geminis. You're extremely brilliant. You have access to the Akashic Records. However, please don't use that for bad. Your genius is high priestesses. See? Stars. You damn stars. You have access to the Akashic Records to ancestors walk with you. Angels walk with you. God will walk with you if you want to. It says, But you have to know one thing about this. Keep yourself in balance. Keep yourself grounded. And keep yourself emotionally nurtured because your brains are so high powered. You're very sharp and 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 you hold a lot of psychic records for the universe. Um, and people can wear you out really easy because of that. You know, it's pitiful, but it's true, I think, my gems. I love you. I love your free spirit. I just do. And then most of my close friends are really Gemini, okay? My uh, beautiful website designer is a Gemini. She's a beautiful being, um, ascended master type being. And then <clears throat> quite a few of my clients are Gemini. So beautifuls, if you like the reading, you want to get your own reading from me, you can go to my website. It's in the box below. Or you can order it off Etsy and I'll record it for you and send it to you. Now Etsy offers 111, a complete thorough reading. And I mean top to bottom, everything I can get in. We're going to find out a symmetry, um, um, your Mayan reading, your, how it ties into your current now numerology. Your um, uh, What do we have? We've got the life path reading, but we also have what you're here to be doing on the planet. If you don't know that, I can help you tap in closer. We can meditate together if you want to. That's 111. You can find that on my website as well. Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me. How is Gemini showing up at this time? And thank you so much for listening to me because I need to instruct you how my world is going so that you could stay in it. I love you. If you join Patreon and support my work, it's only a few dollars a month. What happens is I give you, um, once a month I do a drawing and I give gifts away and I give my time away and I, I give away three free readings each month and I upload re readings. Try to do it once a week. Sometimes things interfere, but I'm okay with it. You're showing up as judgment. You're going through a revival, and I think you know that. I think it's the way you look at things. I think you know that you're getting like a second opportunity. It's like taking the dry bones and nurturing them, and they rise back up and into life again. What is crossing you? That's resurrection. Well, oh. <laughs> Oh, thank you, angels, for my beautiful Gemini's look. Holy moly. Money, kindness, forgiveness, uh, and love. And new love at that. What the heck? I love you. You deserve it. Okay, Gems, you deserve it. Oh, my God. That makes me so happy. Okay, digging on you. I'm digging on you. I hope you got that love you deserve. If not, just be that love you deserve. It'll find you. And don't waver. Don't waver. Don't change. Don't, you know, just be the love you want to see. Be the love you want towards you. It, the universe has a way of attracting it to you. So, my beautifuls, your history is that of not being able to actually bring forth life with some relationship you were in. Just not growing. You know, maybe dealing with someone who was in the down low. They, they, um, just not a nice person when you have an empress in reverse this is a baby mama who just never ever ever gets things right doesn't do things upright why well she built with you but it looks like she might have built with somebody else tell me why she's in the down low she's not in your planet anymore see narcissist she pulled back her she wasn't intellectual and she wasn't the right person. I don't know, male or female, they're not the one. Yeah, they didn't, they stopped pulling, putting energy in it, or you did. And narcissist, bye. That's what I get. Everything was about them. Everything was about them. And they wanted you to pay their whole way into something. And you're like, uh, uh, 
I don't think so. This isn't love, right? Keep going, Spirit. What are my jammies working on at this time? What's the energy? Bringing in brand new outlook. Looking for something cool coming in and sitting on your throne, being powerful and passionate, moving forward on your projects, going forward, getting abundance, uh, expecting good things, and they're coming in. You might be working with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius to bring something into your realm. Your higher mind at this time, you're watching things carefully. Now, you might be looking back at somebody watching the, the town talk, the talk of the town or something. It's kind of a spy energy. Tell me more about it. Yeah. You've been watching someone to see if they're going to get a new start. Now, that's kind of invasive. Um, but they have, they pulled, oh, oh, are you ready? I'm going to tell you what I get. Someone's a detective or an inspector or a lawyer or something, and they're watching every single thing right now. They've kind of got their eye on you. They're pulled back in a quiet place, and they're watching you watch someone else. Virgo. Virgo's here. Who's Virgo? The Queen of Swords. They're spying on you. It's always on your mind. It's like, am I free to go now? Because damn. Clar clarify that. Yeah, they didn't. Uh, you're, you're always thinking about how they didn't treat you right. How they were imbalanced. How they wouldn't leave you alone. They were always bothering you. Always on your mind. But never giving you anything lovely. So God's changing that for you. He's got them up in their head now. So you're free. What's the future? The future shows you putting down the bullshit, not listening to other people, leaving the relatives and the troublemakers and the drama behind. Just saying, no, I got to go. Nine of wands, the end of the rope, exhausted, done. You got just one more little bit left in you and you're reserving that for yourself. That dude's head's bandaged. He's he said, no more of this energy torture. You're not taking my energy. You're not redirecting my path. And no, I'm not looking back at you anymore. I'm going to follow my faith. And I'm going to grow spiritually. And I'm going to use, do things on a spiritual level now. I'm going to have insight that I didn't have before because I've surrendered you. And I've surrendered you to God so that I could have my peace of mind and have my faith restored. Keep going, Spirit. Show me what Gemini's energy Who's around them or what, what's around them? Yeah, someone's trying to burden you. They're very burdened because you broke up with them. But they weren't your true love. They want you to unblock them. But they're all full of piss and vinegar. You don't want that. So you're like, no. What else is around Gemini's? That can't be everything. That's them all stressed out. Because... They want you stressed out, but don't be. be. Be in your heart, beautiful, it's because you're attracting love, brand new love, money and love. Be in your heart and leave them alone. Leave them where they are. If they have been, are in a poverty mindset, leave them in a poverty mindset. You don't have to have it. You're amazing, powerful. Believe in yourself and your ability to be the star. You are the star. Okay? Believe in yourself, Spirit says. What is your worry? Your worry is that you won't get justice. They'll continually hurt you and you might lose your temper. Do not give anybody anything that is undeserving, my beautiful Geminis. Nobody. If they haven't done something to earn that reward from you, please don't give it to them. You're wasting your money and effort. They're just takers, right? But you can't have takers. You have to have people that respect you because you're fantastic. Here we go. Yeah. So, um, they're gonna they're gonna pull their energy away. Then what you're worrying about is nothing, because your outcome is so friggin' beautiful. Oh my God! Look, because you're doing the right thing, you're walking right into a divine union, away from a shit storm. All right, right into a divine union because you're the stars. Your mind is on this person, so you need to get rid of that. Somehow, because clear that up with God, right? Because he's, he's directing you. 
He's directing you to this beautiful being. And all these worries will be a thing of the past, Spirit says. Yeah, the deceiver will be a thing of the past because you took the time to take it to God incessantly, constantly trusting the Spirit to take the battles from you and only give you courage to fight when you need to. The words to say when you need them, the insight you need for these, the spiritual warfare you're in with some low vibrational energy that will not leave you alone. But you're sitting on your throne and you're abundant. You're getting a brand new start and you're trusting yourself a little more. You're also getting stronger and you're getting more grounded. Again, another divine union shows up. God's hand. It's God's hand. These are abundant people. These are wealthy people. These are high-powered people. You're in the position of high-powered people. You're attracting a, a family, a big wealth. That's wealth. That's wealth. And this is brand new love. That's lust, too. Ooh, la, la. They're going to like, like you a lot. Why? Because you got strong from the inside out and said, no more. Hell no, we don't go. Right? I'm going where I can grow. Right? And I'm not telling everybody. I'm saving my sacred self for the right person. The right person will be equal energy to you. Spirit, give me some love messages before we go into um, Gemini. Honeymoon. Yeah. Tell me about the person that's grieving them. What's their message? Release the X. They're highly attracted to you, but they're attracted to you because they're codependent. Watch for red flags. They're codependent. You're Whoever this is coming in, they're worth waiting for. And a wedding. I jive you not. Maybe you are the ones that all these wicked people have been doing magic on, spells and stuff. Oh, my Gemini, right? Gemini is good at it too, though. You just get, got to do it the right way. Let God do some of the work, guys, right? He'll bring a tower down on that person that's causing you trouble, is what I just heard. Ancestors, let's talk to them real quick before I go into everybody else. You're seeing everything accurately. So you are. You are seeing things accurately. Use the power of joy to reinvent yourself. Elders, move beyond ancient ancestral patterns. Maybe you have to. Maybe there's an ancestral pattern that's holding you back. A thought process, a fear, a worry, the way mama would do it. What auntie's got to say and all that other shit. Um, star ancestor, follow the voice in your soul. You know what it is. If you need to write, write, write out your story, talk it out. However you need to get your experience out there, do it. If you have a channel, good. Do your thing. All right? Do your thing. All right. Now, <clears throat> all right, let me move these, and then we're going to take a look at you and everybody else. We're going to go from Aries to Pisces on this Gemini's, okay? And then we're going to see where uh, everybody is. I'm going to go through them quick and make an assertion based on the cards, right? Yes or no? Toy with them in February or don't? It's the type of energy that comes up, and it might apply to you and it might not. If it, if it doesn't relate, don't hate. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Always. All right? Always. All right, Gemini, let me get you going. We're going to look at you and everybody else. I'm going to use a different deck for that, though. We, let me use a dreamer's way, okay? Here we go. Dreamer's way. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and north node. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God unfolds us. The power of God protects us. And the presence of God watches over us. Where we are, God is. You are seeing the situation clearly. What is it? Let's see. What are we doing here with the Aries to Pisces for Gemini, Sun, and Rising Venus Night Mode for February 2023? Show me, guys. Gemini. Mm. Hi, babies. I love you. I wish you love, healing happiness, that new love you're dying to get, right? Let's do this. Precious gems. All right. 
Let's see. Spirit. Aries and Gemini. Four of Swords in reverse. No action, no love. Clarify. Yeah, and no faith. So that's a tough one. Hmm. Taurus, the tower in reverse, trying to prevent an outcome, trying to prevent. They don't want to come back and apologize. Nope. And they're definitely not in their good heart space with you particularly. Gemini and Gemini. The moon. Dreaminess. And the seven of pentacles. So a Gemini-Gemini combination wouldn't be very good because someone would be a little immature and not making productivity or making anything grow. And they like to watch a lot of, some, you know, YouTube channels, TikToks. They're not very mature. Gemini and Cancer. Knight of Cups in reverse. Not coming forward with the love offer. And not coming forward to create a family or money. They're on their way out. They're gone. Gemini and Leo. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. No serious offer coming in. And no energy being put into it in February. Leo is not communicating with the Gemini. Gemini and Virgo. Judgment in reverse. That's no revival. Hangman in reverse. Someone is permanently out of the scene. Gemini. It's a Virgo. And they are the fucking devil. That's why they're out of the scene. You better pray against that Virgo. They're a high priestess as well. So they might be doing magic on you. Gemini. You got a Virgo, you better pray over. You ask God to just swoop down and, and send back all their junk. Everything bad they're sending you. Virgo's in trouble here for Gemini. I don't know what that is. Forgive me if you're a good Virgo. Well, it's not you then, okay? And I love you. All right. <clears throat> Libra and Gemini. Five of Swords. Crying. Upset. Lack of connection. Lack of a communication. Distorted energy, other people's thoughts, and two of ones, keeping someone in a state of confusion so they can't make a decision. Oh, wow. That's so rough. Scorpio and Gemini. Oh, seven of cups. Oh, there's somebody wishing somebody would put somebody down. They know they have options, but why are they playing second fiddle? They don't want to end the relationship. Scorpio doesn't want to end the relationship. They're passionate about you. They want to make an offer or work with you. Scorpio is a good choice, but you might have other things on your mind. And they might distress you and your soul. You decide. Okay, Sagittarius and Gemini. Eight of Cups walking away for towards something better and leaving a marriage or, or something, they don't see any outcome here. We also have Capricorn and Gemini, the star, baby, and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So we have a star who's out of work, a shining star, a star seed, a healer. They're not working on something. Why? Seven of Wands. What does putting your guard down have to do with it? Death in reverse. They don't want to change. They don't want to admit they're a star. They don't want to act like a star. This is a Capricorn that's not measuring up, and you're trying to help them, and they're not listening to you, male or female. Yep, they're not listening to you, and therefore you can't build with them. You have to come to that conclusion. All right, Gemini, we also have uh, Aquarius, Eight of Swords up in your head or in jail, in spiritual jail, unable to see everything. Someone is cheating behind someone's back. Aquarius, seven of swords in reverse, and that's a definite. Then we have Pisces, six of cups, someone you've known for some time. They're very lovely. Five of wands in reverse. All you wish they would do would just leave the crap behind. Five of pentacles, they're feeling uh, left out in the cold. And want justice, what does that mean? The hermits in reverse, they're not... Three of Swords. There's somebody suffering because of a Pisces. They're kind of, uh, they're not using their heart. They feel like they have many choices. They hurt somebody by lying to them. Pisces is a no for this particular reading. 
you know, you guys, I don't know what you guys are up to, but some of these people are just low down, you know, low down. And I'm sorry to say that. You keep yourself in high vibe because you're an amazing being, my beautiful Geminis. Don't forget to go and get for your supply the $25 gift box. It comes with mantras and healing meditations and then any of these three sets. 25, uh, they're um, 33 33 for this. This would normally be a lot more. I love you. I thank you for your presence. Thank you for your time. And namaste, my wonderful gems. Bye, darlings.